guys, so here we go. Uh, what we've all been really wanting to do, print a large piece of fabric. So I'm in my studio, I am at my print table, I've got a piece of padded cloth on the table, you can see all the paint from printing, the paint does go through thin fabric like this sheet. Um, when you're printing with potatoes, it doesn't matter what kind of padding you've got underneath because you've got a bit of give in the potato. I'm about to print now with my wooden blocks and therefore, because they're so solid, you need to have some padding underneath. So I have a piece of felt here, you could use an old blanket, you could use uh, loads of newspaper, you could maybe use a towel if it's fine enough, anything to give it a bit of give underneath. Um, we've been doing lots of potato printing on here, but my main form of art is printing with wooden blocks and that's how I normally create my designs. So it's really nice for me to be working with some wooden blocks now. I'm gonna be using my strawberry block. So I've got a stem and then I've got the strawberry base and I'm gonna be working in tandem with them. So I've got my two colors here, my green and my red. Um, don't worry if you haven't got one of these strawberry blocks. Um, first of all, we are trying to get some more kits together. It's really difficult at the moment to get the supplies and stuff, but as soon as we do, we'll let you know. But I have carved one in potatoes. So again, if you want to have a go, it is possible to carve your strawberry out of potatoes and then you can be happily printing away as well. Okay, so we have done the sheet, got that all ready. Um, I have got some screen printing paint here. I've got a green colour and I've got a red. Uh, it's a water-based acrylic based printing paste and it's what I take on my workshops. Um, I mix a lot of the colours up myself and we uh, offer these paints in our kits. Um, we are making specific colours for you so that's really exciting. So I've got my paints, giving them a good mix up. Sometimes I add water. Some of the screen printing fabric paints need water added to them. And you just want to kind of work out, you don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too runny either. I'm afraid it's a case of kind of testing it until you get to the right texture. And then I've got two little trays here. And again, these could be anything. They could be plates or bits of Tupperware. In our kits, you get a little tray like this. And I've got my blocks at the ready and actually I'm missing my sponges. So I'm just gonna grab a couple of those. There we go. Uh, again, in our kits, we've found these really cool sponges on sticks. I think they're called stipplers. So you get those in the kits. And again, it could just be a sponge. You could do it with a paintbrush, but this is how we do it at our workshops that we, we do across the country. So I'm gonna load up my tray with the red for the strawberry. I'm actually gonna print the strawberry before I print the stem on top. And I'm actually going to cover this whole piece of fabric with strawberries. I'm just gonna go for it. I'm going back to tradition. I'm gonna print my whole way across the entire piece of fabric. Don't worry, I won't do it all on camera. Otherwise you might all fall asleep. But um, I think that's a sort of good point in a way. There's something very, very calming and soporific about printing. And this might be the time where actually you get your kids to go and do something else. They're all outside and they I can see them through the window here. They might come in. They seem to be happy enough. And so they're happy, I'm happy, I'm creating. I'll be a much nicer mother this evening um, when I go inside. Anyway, back to printing. So I've loaded up my strawberry block. It's again, it's really important to remember that you have to put the paint onto the block between every single print. When I'm printing large, vast lengths of fabric, I have a printing pad. Um, I might show you that in a, another video one day, but for now, this is a really good way to do it. And I'm just gonna leave space at the top because I'm gonna add the green stem in a minute. Um, I'm thinking it through as I go. This is already hemmed, ready to go. So I'm just gonna print, I'm just gonna print straight lines and um, we're gonna have this lovely cloth covered in strawberries. I'm gonna do some matching napkins and it's gonna be homemade and it's gonna be lively and energetic and it's, I'm not gonna worry. I'm not gonna worry too much about it. So I'm just gonna go, here we are. First strawberry done. tops of the strawberries. Um, I've had such a nice time printing away. It really has been heavenly. It has taken quite a long time, but that's okay. 
um, it's given me time to think about my matching napkins that I've got to do now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this dry and then I am going to uh, iron it with a dry iron uh, on the kind of high cotton setting. I will put the fabric face down onto my ironing board. I mean, I wouldn't iron it until it's completely dry, but just in case there's a little bit of wetness, it will go onto the ironing board fabric as opposed to the iron smudging it across the cloth. So I will set it with a dry iron and then we're done. We've got our strawberry tablecloth. Or actually, I've been thinking how I might just keep it on the bed. It's such a sweet, jolly print. Um, so anyway, whatever we do, I am going to make napkins to go with it. So here we go, a repurposed, I know it's upside down, let me turn it around, a repurposed old boring old sheet that's been sitting in our cupboard, whoop, is now covered in delightful strawberries, napkins to go, and apparently we've got some good weather coming, so I'm going to put this on the table with my napkins. I'll dress the table and I'll take a photo and send it all out to you and I hope you enjoyed that and I hope that you can find some time maybe to do this by yourselves to get someone else to look after your kids or yeah to let them be looked after by themselves and just go and have a bit of time out guys go and do some printing it honestly is so relaxing so great all right then bye